for them where they stay. Hi, my name is Ernest Ng. I'm a comic book writer, an online content creator, and a legally homeless person on paper. What that means, I legally do not own a house, but I would love to. Someday. As a single guy, I'm not entirely sure whether it's better to buy a house or to rent a house. I don't even know if I can afford one. So guys, please help me. What's DSR? Hi. Hi. Hello, I'm Soraya. Hi. Nice to meet you. You wanted to know what is DSR. So it's what banks use to kind of guess whether or not you can pay back your loans. So you said that you have a bad score, right? Yeah. The score just now. So the kind of score that my parents won't be pleased. So uh, there are two ways to improve a bad DSR score. The first one is to increase your income. The second one is to reduce the debt that you have right now. Yeah. Tell me about what kind of loans that you have right now. Ah, uh, I have a car loan. How uh. big of a chunk does it take from your monthly budget? One third. I think. One third. Yeah. Alright, alright. That's quite significant. Really? Yes. I thought it's always one third is the safe. One third is the safe? Well, they always say that one third is the safe for yeah. house loan. Oh, so it means I could have gotten a house. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about your other type of spending habit. Okay. I have heard about this thing that you call Waller Nights. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Who told you that? Ha! Ah, what you guys do, ah? Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Sometimes as a single guy, on the weekends, you want to go out and have fun, you know. How fun is fun? Pretty fun. How big is your fun, financially speaking? Oh wow, uh, but the financial one not fun. fun. The experience fun, nice, enjoyable, then end of the month not fun. So Ernest, I can tell that you have these two big joys in your life, your car mm -hmm. and your baller nights. Yeah. Why do you feel that you need to have these two big, excessive things? It's always no fun when you go out at night and uh, you know, you, you'll be the wet blanket when people want to do something fun that costs a little bit more money but you're the, always the one that says that, no, I can't do that. It's a very visual kind of life that we live in so I believe that having a nice car can have a better impression of people on you. Oh, a lot of people have the same thoughts as you do. It's not a bad thing to have nice things in life but the point is that you can have some things but you can't have everything. You have to know when it goes a bit too much out of hand. Knowing all of this, what do you think in your life is maybe you're spending a little bit too excessively and maybe you want to try to cut it down so that in the future you can get the house that you want. Thank you Ernest for talking to Thanks, me. Thanks Soraya. Remember you can have fun but have fun responsibly. You can totally do it and have the house of your dreams, alright? Alright, so what I learned from today's session is that sometimes the only thing that is blocking you from having your dream home is yourself. So I guess I have to sacrifice some things in order to get some nicer future things. So what's happening with Ernest right now is that he feels that as a single guy, he needs to use his money to impress his family, impress his friends, and that's completely fine. But he knows that he needs to spend a little bit more responsibly so that he can afford his dream house.